<laughs> Good day, everybody. Nina and I are out on a trail ride. That park is a local gem of a park like that called Alco Park. There's a human with a dog. <laughs> so we're going to go the other way a little bit. And uh, it's a great park to come to. It's usually pretty quiet. Hello. And uh, not too many people hanging around, which means we can get some practice. But at the same time, there are some people hanging around. And I find that fantastic for training. Go out and about. Check out some uh, some new scenery. Now we've been to Alco Park a few times, and uh, it has been uneventful, which is what we're always looking for. Lena's got a massive walk today. We are oh, <laughs> a little worried about the signs. We've got some strong water supposedly, but she's got this big walk. We are we are really cooking along. It's nice. I enjoy a nice, a nice strong walk from a horse rather than having to sort of encourage them along through everything. <clears throat> Alco Park is not a very big park, but it's got these really nice, well maintained trail system, trails and trail system. Lena's checking out all the trails or stuff. So that one go down that one. What about that one? Hey, yeah. And uh, we've got Alouette River <clears throat> right next to us. Honestly, I am genuinely. <clears throat> There's another dog. Hello. What's that? Just traveling through. Oh, it's okay. You've never seen a horse. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Boy. <laughs> second dog, second person. Uh -huh. And then just down here, it doesn't look like the water level is very high at all. We have our horse crossing. Now, I can't remember the last time I've taken Lena in the water. <clears throat> it's been a while. And she may or may not want to go. But give her a tiny squeeze and have a little trip down here to the beach where she can come check it out. Yeah, this water's really low. You know, I don't want to go that way. Can you go check out the water for me a little, please? She says, no. So we're going to take a quick look here. All right. And then just stand. Because it's a beautiful day. And she can check it out. Okay, I see the dog walking behind me. I'm just going to say hello for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We have to just travel a little, sort of, up that hill a bit. A uh, lady had a little puppy, four month old puppy, who's never seen a horse before. So there's a lot of times that I will um, borrow one of my horses to help out uh, with with training, meaning that the, uh, the dog can kind of take a look at the horse and be like, rough, rough, and all that kind of business. And we'll just stand there and be pretty good about it all. Now, I don't know if we're going to make it into the... Whoa. We're not. <laughs> we almost did. I thought she was just going to go. I was like, that's cool. You're going to go in the water. Let's find out. I'm going to keep... Oops. I'm going to keep putting Lena towards the water and just see if she wants to have a little wander in there. We wouldn't go far. We can cross over to there. Uh, that pathway over there will lead to a long, long trail that goes to a park called Golden Ears Park, Alouette Lake. And it's an absolutely beautiful place to go. Usually we drive there. Lena's walking, so I'm just going to turn her around. I don't have all the control that I want based on the fact that I'm trying to... Lena, stop eating the ferns. Trying to hold a camera at the same time, which can be rather distracting. But, whatever. Good practice for everybody. So I'm just going to ask Lena to come this way a little. 
and then this way a little and the sand is pretty sinky you see so I'm just gonna ask to level I'll put my my rain out a little here and I'll just ask for a turn eh, that'll do. and then I'll let her have a think about it and she can have a little think I don't want her to leave but you can see how sinky it is in this sand which is undesirable for a horse but not the end of the world it doesn't go far she's leaving so I'm going to turn her around again another left hand turn for everybody watching and over the rocks back down to where I'd like her to stand now this time I'm gonna block I'm just gonna have my right rein here I'm just going to ask a little and that's it that's all I might ask for but what a <laughs> what a beautiful <laughs> are you done nope one more yeah there we go wow jeez you all clean now how do you feel says can we go freaking me out I don't want to go in the water and it is pretty chilly the water is probably something silly like six or seven degrees and uh, I don't want to go in so I'm not gonna force her in I'm not gonna make her hey wait I didn't ask for a lead yet and so we'll just tolerate it we'll just hang around this beautiful location wait I know I sat up a little straighter all right let's go and then we'll go <clears throat> so because i'm not willing to follow through with everything that i might ask for because i'm not getting off and getting in the water myself which has actually been a little bit of a contentious uh, issue in the comment section of that abuse video somebody's like well if you can't get a horse to do it how do you not beat them well you either spend all the time you need or you be the leader and you show the horse it's safe by doing it yourself since I'm not willing to do that today because it's cold and I'm a bit of a wimp <laughs> as one girl told me to man up uh, get all sorts in the comments all sorts uh, I'm not doing it for sure I'll wait till the summertime to work on that if I needed to I expect I'd be able to get Lena in to go that pathway there that sort of leads back the way we came. We've got a branch to sort of duck a little. That's new. That wasn't full in there last time I came through here. Look at this old cedar tree. Huge. Hemlocks growing out of it. More hemlocks. Cedar trees everywhere. Cedars and hemlocks. All over the place. Some pine. Here is a pine tree. I think. No, that's hemlock. Sorry. <laughs> Get your trees straight, man. It's maple. Anyhow, so um, the cool thing about this park, and I mentioned it before, if nobody's ever seen it, you're new here. Lots of new people here since I've done a ride around in the local park, but this is a nice little corral area uh, for bringing your horse and hanging out. There's even another one over here. And uh, in the middle, here, Lena, come around, would you please? Can you hang a right? Thank you. A little more, a little more. We're not going in there, don't you worry. We're still riding. <clears throat> Great place to practice. You come here, you put your horse in a little corral, and then you can uh, have a little snack. And look, check this out. Right in the middle, built by, oh, there's somebody, there's a couple people over there. We can see them just barely through the forest. But right in the middle here is a few benches and stuff. Yes, Lena, I know. You're gonna give your horses a scratch when they feel worried. You say, I, I feel your worry. I know you're worried. We'll let her have a stop and a think. But either way, right here we got some some little log benches and log tables, and they're they're fantastic. Great place to come and have a little snack, a little picnic, maybe a little camp camping sort of deal that they do once in a while, and then just store your horse in the corrals. Now Lena's super keen on these people that are wandering around with dogs. There's a couple of them. Take a look right through Lena's ears. Where's Lena looking? I wish I could rest the camera right here the whole time and you guys could just see where she's looking. But I actually have to turn the whole darn thing. Hmm, maybe there? 
It's kind of cute, right? We got the ears. They flick around. I don't know. Still thinking on all kinds of little ways to uh, to to take video while riding because it isn't easy. One of my um, ways that I've been working on is to sort of tuck it into my my uh, my arm here, and then I'll just flick this up like this, and then I squeeze it, <clears throat> and then I have my two hands, and you guys just kind of come along like this. Okay, Lena, let's go forward. Now I've got two hands. I feel a little bit more ready for action, but I've really got to tuck my elbows in. <laughs> it's kind of uncomfortable because I don't generally ride like that. Uh, I also have a chest mount that I sometimes use and I have a helmet mount as well. But uh, I like being able to sort of swing the camera around a little bit and have control over that and not really worry about where my head is facing as well. So that's sort of a, a pain. Anyway, I'm gonna put it back in my hand. It's more comfortable to me and I ride with one hand. And I just sort of ride like this. Now I know they've gone this way, so I'm gonna actually hang a right. Oh, a little more lean. Okay. And we're just gonna enjoy a little cruise through here, a little history. Uh, a couple years ago, actually, these trees here fell down. We had a massive storm two, three years ago. And all the trees that you're looking at that are on the ground here, there's another little corral just tucked away inside of that little spot. But all of these fell down in this one storm. I was blown like crazy. Really strong. And uh, the rest made it. You see all these other trees that are still here. They made it, but plenty didn't. And then they had to uh, cut them all. I did a video. We came here and we had to crawl. They were covering all the trails. They were across everywhere. It was just nuts. And uh, uh, so it's a bit of a loss. It's too bad. Here's the other side of the corrals. This is where people usually would usually park a little car or truck to unload supplies for uh, one of the... We have a local um, horse group that sometimes puts on um, little uh, events. Uh, Lena, I don't know if we can make it through here. Do you think we can? Sort of. But let's turn around. We could sort of make it through. Can you stop eating everything you look at? Yeah, turn around. Turn around. Come on, turn around. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Come on, Lena. And uh, they put on these events and stuff like that a few times a year. And you can join and be part of it. Come hang out with other horse people, chit chat, ride around a little bit, make it through the water if you want to or not. Do as you please. The other cool thing about this place is it is, it is a proper park. Let's take a look over here. I shall take you guys on a bit of a tour. That's where we kind of came from, in case you're a little lost. And that's where the, the water area is just over there. So through the middle here, there are, and there are a couple of these. Come on, Lena. No heavy feet, please. Let's go. Um, there are these little uh, camping lodge spots. Just keep going. There's nothing in here. No, 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 no. Please go. Ugh, I've got a hair on it. Lena, go forward. Please go forward. You're okay. It's just a little house. But it's dark to her, right? It's still dark in there. She's like, I don't know. This kind of worries me. So I'm just going to keep on encouraging. And by encouraging, I'm just, just giving a little squeeze. A little tiny bump bump with my legs. And I just wait until she gets enough courage to go in there. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. It gets going to scratch. So you're really brave. Can you please not go this way though? There's no way out that way. Nothing but prickles. Now Lena might be thinking we're going in there, but we're not. We're just going by it. Ooh. She's fast. Not fast. Yeah. There. So they got these little picnic tables in here. And it's fantastic if it starts to get a little rainy or something like that. And because Lena's worried about this, I'm actually going to sort of tackle this a little bit. I'm just going to kind of come around and, uh, and have her sort of pay attention to it a little bit. 
Now I'm going to turn around this tree and have her go back through. And off we go. And so that's a little bit better. No resistance. She's in a, in a hurry again. We've got some, got some feet going for us. And then over here, there's another one. So sometimes we actually have, um, I have a look, we have a local school that does some outdoor activities and they come here to do some of their schooling, which is fantastic, kind of neat. There is a bathroom right there. And so we've got this big open space that we passed by in the beginning that we sort of, we went by quickly because there was a person with a dog and it looks like they're fixing up this place. Jeez, oh, what happened Lena? What did you see? Oh boy. You never know when a horse is going to get a little worried. You always have to be a little ready. Keep your balance. So, let's come around here because we've already been that way. So come this way. <laughs> you just got the jitters a little right now. So we're going to stay on guard, but we're also going to Give her a scratch and just say, you're cool, go this way. Now we're going to explore this place because I want Lena to be really, really good with this. No problems. We've already been here, but we're coming the other way now. Look at the size of this tree that fell over. Roots everywhere. And then they plant the new ones. You see that one with a little ribbon? This is a ribbon. There's somebody over there. And there's a kid. They might want to say hello to Lena, so I'm going to have to turn the camera off again, so bear with me if I've got to shut down briefly. Now for me, I personally love little trails like this one. I love going down these little, these little things. You've got to kind of duck out of the way a bit and uh, kind of get brushed by and you've got some logs to step over and, and the horses have to sort of think it through. Where are they going to step? Where are they going to eat when they do go? And come around, do they come around? Do they hop over these little logs or just walk around them? Come in through here. We're back over to that little lodge thing. We're back at the beginning of where we started. Big log to step over. Good job, Lena. Come in through these trees right in the middle here. Okay. And it's just a little thing. Just a little little tiny trail to kind of poke through and uh, make your way around. Not through the tree if you could, Lena. Thanks. And then back this way where we came from. This big open area. And of course there's lots of little trails and branches on the ground to step around or on perhaps horses figure it out we don't always have to tell them exactly where to go but water actually you know let's go take a quick look at the water while we're here because we sort of missed out on that when uh, actually i hear something fascinating you've never seen something like this in your time but you see all these little chips on the ground these little wood chips and you think what the what is that well, all we got to do is look up and you can see that the woodpeckers have been going nuts on that tree. Clearly it's dead. And uh, looking for bugs, but they make a mess of things. Right? All right. Interesting stuff to see along the way. If you're any good at identifying plants or if the birds were out, it's still February, so it's a little early, but uh, you know, when the birds are out, especially in the morning. <laughs> when he's having a relax moment. We can come out over the water. Look at this. When it gets into the rapids over here. I'm just going to ask Nina to go ahead just a little bit. There we go. Gorgeous. Hard for horses to hear, hard for us to hear as well. Water is quite noisy. Oh, let's go this way. It's good for us, good for our horses. Wander around a little bit more. You guys you feel like sticking around for the rest of this ride? Well, we'll maybe go a little quieter. I don't have to talk as much. I've introduced you to everything that I'm doing, and where we are.
always want to keep our eye out for any bears. Although it's a little early in the year for that, but when it gets a little longer, warmer, the bears do come out. We want to keep an eye on that. Sometimes we can wear a bear belt. There's some new little hope for the dog. Okay, well, we don't want to put people on video. So we're going to go around. And uh, wander around the other way a little. Go up the way. Always get a little cautious about having the public. Because some people are uh, not keen on that. Being in a public park, sometimes it's inevitable. All right. That lady has three dogs. She's over there with three dogs. We can't see her face. So. Three dogs, Lena. Did you see that? Okay, so I'm going to actively choose for her to step over this log. We could have gone around over that way a little, but we're not. We're going to go over the log. Pretty please. Lena says, no problemo. Step over logs like nothing. And I tell you what, let's go a little this way. I thought I was going to be caught. Turns out I'm noisy still. Right through. No, not this way. Oh my goodness. What are you going to do? Okay, let's go this way, Lena. Don't worry about the bench. Don't worry about the bench. Okay, well, so we got to tackle a bench. It's a bench. Can you please go and sniff the bench or something, Lena? It's just a bench. I don't know if she'll make it. Let's ask gently. So we ask a little with the reins. She says, I'll go the other way. She's got to go in between the tree and the bench, which is sure to attack her. At least according to Lena. Yeah, a little this way. This looks like a nice place to go. Whoa, Lena says, no, I don't think so. So with my one-handed riding, let's see if we can gently make it over here. Come on, Lena, it's no big deal. She says, I don't want to go in the cold water. It makes my feet cold. Look at that. She made it all the way around. So I stop and I ask. And I wait. I want a right-hand turn. I'm really worried. I said, I know. I'm kind of worried for you as well, but you can do it. It's okay. And we just keep on encouraging lightly and carefully. Stop there before she can escape. Turn the right. So we don't give up. I keep asking. I'm just holding lightly like I do when we trade. A couple pounds there. Now a little leg, and through we go. Come on, Lena, you're okay. Good girl. All right, it's just sand. It's like being in the arena. You could have a roll, not now. That's a big no-no, I'm riding. Oh, good girl. All right, look at this gorgeous area to come to. I don't want to go that way. That's crazy talk. If we could go back the other way, Lena, that would mean a lot to me. So I'll just ask her to slow down. She can leave a little, but not a lot. Just ask. There we go. She's still pushing through. And some might say, well, what are you going to do about that? Well, I'm, well, I'm going to be patient. I'm just going to hold. There we go. There we go. There we go. And stop. Okay, now we'll both have a think about this. It's nice that Lena put her head down. Okay, I want to go back there though. What I don't want to do is I don't want to leave this on 
it's not so much that she's getting away with something or she's not listening to me or any of that crap. What's happening is, is that she's being left with the fear. And I don't want her left with fear. So I'm just going to continue to ask a little more. A little more. There we go. A little more. Good girl. Okay. And a nice slow walk in. I could even slow her down. I said, can you go a little slower? You're, you're in a rush. Just slowly walk through. There we go. So when we're here, I want her to chill out. We'll go a little bit more here. Not far. And this is it. This is as far as I feel like I'd like to make it. I'm okay with here. Because gosh darn it, if this isn't just a beautiful place to be. Yes, Lena, you are fantastic. But nervous, right? So, we're off to ask her to hold. Hold. She might paw. Ask her to hold. Just a little bit. Because I don't want to leave in fear. Hold. Hold, release, hold, turn around a little, maybe, maybe we could turn a bit, go back the way we came, or not the way we came, but the way we were, and then hold, <laughs> Nina, hello, hold, and wait, and wait, Good. Scratch. Wait. Back up. One, two, three. And scratch. And that might be it. Now I can say, okay, let's go. She says, it's about time. And off we go. And it's not like I set it up to be on my terms, but I set it up to hopefully have her think about how afraid she needs to be and that she doesn't need to be afraid. And then we can leave. I'm not going through that tree again, you monkey. Okay, we got some picnic tables and a garbage can to deal with here. I think I might be a little adverse to that. Sometimes the garbage can stink. Next horse is worried. She's a little worried. You can see her ear. And that's pretty cool. I'd call that a great little trail ride that I could bring you guys along for. I hope you've enjoyed that. A few things I think about when I ride.